So what are we are having today for dinner? You have seen that I already cooked the chicken. This is the time that I'm showing you my bagel bat wing, which is almost complete. All we need is the banner ring restored. Then it'll be all done and then everybody will enjoy playing it. So I'm cooking some chicken for dinner. Today I'm going to try this chopper to chop the onions. I mean, so that I can get very nicely chopped onions that will take a very short time to cook because I don't have much time for dinner. So I'm thinking of chopping here so that I can get uh, very small pieces. Let's try with that. A few moments later. As you can see, I have uh, got very nicely done onion paste. I think it will take less time to cook. So I've started my cooking. Today I'm gonna cook two chickens. So here I have taken three onion paste and I'm going to grind the spices. Here I have taken 15 cardamom, one cinnamon like this, few bay leaves, one dried red chili, seven or eight cloves. So I will grind them. And so for the last few days, I'm using pest and powder of spices a lot because this takes less time to cook than chopped onions and whole spices. I will fry the onions so that I can get a nice smell from that. Then I will add the grinded whole spices. And after frying for a few minutes, I will add two chickens. I think before that, I will add two tablespoon garlic paste and two tablespoon ginger paste. So after that, I will add two chicken. I will fry them for a few minutes. Then I will add some yogurt, plain yogurt. So let's see how it turns. So you can see in the garlic, ginger and onion paste, I have added all the grinded whole spices and now it's cooked properly. Now I will add two chicken in that. So you can see after adding the chicken in the paste, it looks like this. So I, here I have added three onion paste, two, two and a half tablespoon of garlic paste, four tablespoon of ginger paste. I have grounded all the whole spices. I didn't uh, roast the whole spices before grinding it. Most of the time we roast the spices before grinding. But here after grinding, I added the powder before putting the chicken so that I don't need to roast it before grinding I and mean, as I didn't roasted the spices I roasted a little bit in the past before putting the chicken like I will add the other powders later but the whole spice powder I added earlier than the chicken so that it smells good and I have found this trick very helpful like if you are pregnant if you have problem with the smell of the chicken you know, raw chicken some people cannot tolerate the smell of raw chicken so after cook sometimes we can get that kind of smell from the curry this trick helped me a lot like if you grind the whole spices and add it to the chicken i have found that the smells are gone and there is a nice smell coming from the chicken so you can try it and uh, add some yogurt uh, and fry the chicken in an open pan i mean don't cover the pan so that the raw smell is gone so I'm adding this again, like if you suffer from the smell of the chicken, if you cannot tolerate the raw chicken smell. I suffered this when I was pregnant. So this trick can help you make a powder of all the whole spices. You don't need to roast it, just make a powder without roasting and put the grounded powder before putting the chicken and fry with the paste like onion or if you put whole onion, you can add the powder before putting the onion pieces. Well, before cooking chicken curry or most of the curry, we fry onions at the beginning. So after frying the onion, put the whole spice powder without roasting. So roast it with the onion, then it, it will save a lot of time and also the smell will be good. And the raw smell of the chicken will be gone. So if you are pregnant, try it. It can help you. After cooking the chicken for a few minutes, I'm going to add one cup of yogurt. I've taken here, it's plain non-fat yogurt. So I'm giving one cup because I have taken two chickens. So I'm adding the yogurt before adding the other spices. So here I have added two teaspoon of red chili powder, two teaspoon of cumin powder, three teaspoon of coriander powder, 
and half teaspoon of uh, black pepper powder and I have added three teaspoon of salt so now I will wait until the spices are properly cooked so you can see the chicken curry is ready and uh, it's ready to serve I have added a little bit of garam masala powder later and added two teaspoon of poppy seed powder you can see a nice gravy because of the onion paste the gravy is thicker and also because of the poppy seed powder so I didn't use any turmeric powder because I found it like without the turmeric powder it smells better so you can try it what we are having today for dinner you have seen that i already cooked the chicken it came out nice brown creamy and, sauce and, and and really because this is the time that i'm showing you that my ba lego bat wing with the lego bat with my lego batman figure is almost complete all we need is the battering restored or with, 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 the, with the connector up top of here, then it'll be all done and then everybody will enjoy playing it. Yeah, so let me show that what we're having for dinner. So um, I have cooked the chicken. Yeah. I uh, garnished oh. with uh, some green chili uh -huh. because I like the smell and flavor that comes from green chili. So I add green chili for garnishing for almost every dish as I use that. We are having cumin rice, we are having naan and there is vegetable, it's vegetable korma, vegetable added with cheese and this is spinach added with cheese which is called palak paneer. This vegetable korma and the spinach cheese curry, palak paneer and naan. These are bought by Fayaz from Buffet. And after that, I'm gonna have some dessert. This is a rice dessert. You can make that by cooking the rice in heavy milk and sugar. I know I eat a lot because food makes me happy. So I'm happy to eat. And let us know what you are having in dinner. Bye.